Hello students, good afternoon. So today I'll be dealing with a topic called muscle proteins. So you might have studied about the muscle in both anatomy and physiology. So I guess you know what is the structure of muscle, how it is made up of. Okay, and you know the muscle is the major biochemical machine which converts our potential energy into kinetic kinetic energy, right? So the chemical energy which will help us to move that is the mechanical energy. So how do you classify the muscles? You know the class classification of muscles already. So we have mainly two different types of muscles one is striated muscle and the other one is smooth muscles which are non striated under striated muscles we have skeletal muscles which are present in our skeletal systems and the cardiac muscles in the heart right so this is about the basic introduction of your muscle and coming to the muscle proteins so we have different types of proteins in our muscles those are the contractile proteins which help in the contraction and the regulatory proteins which will regulate the contraction and the other minor or accessory proteins. So under contractile proteins we have two that is myosin and actin proteins. Regulatory proteins those are your tropomyosin and the troponin and we have some other minor or accessory proteins. Okay. So coming to the contractile proteins, as I said, we have myosin and actin. So myosin is the thick filament in your sarcomere. The sarcomere is the functional unit in your muscle fiber. Okay. So in that we have a thick and thin filaments. The thick filaments will be called as your myosin. That is your myosin protein, which is a contractile protein. This myosin molecule is composed of six polypeptide chains in that we have two heavy chains and the four light chains. Okay. And it has a, a molecular, I mean the head, globular head, okay, which is a site for, uh, binding site for the actin or it will go and bind to the actin. So the globular head of myosin has two specific binding sites. One is for ATP where it binds to the ATP and the other head is, uh, sorry, the other one will go and binds to the actin filament. Okay. So this is the structure of your myosin, okay, which is a, a thick filament and it has uh, two heavy chains and four light chains. It is composed of two heavy chains and four light chains. And the globular head of myosin has a two specific binding site, one which goes and binds to the actin, the another one is binding to the ATP. And coming to its functions, so myosin majorly have three important functions. So one is it is a constituent of the thick filament of your muscle fiber and the globular head of the myosin also has a ATP is activity so that it can hydrolyze your ATP into ADP plus PI which provides the energy for your contraction muscle contraction okay and the myosin interacts with actin and it generates some force so that moves the thick and thin filaments past each other so that is the major functions of your myosin okay and here you can see the thick and thin filaments in the sarcomere as I said sarcomere is the functional unit so this whole thing is called as sarcomere and the this unit is called sarcomere in that we have the thick filaments the blue one which are myosin proteins okay and these thin filaments are the actin proteins okay so these are the um, contractile proteins we have in our sarcomere or in the muscle fibers and coming to the other contractile protein that is your actin which is the major constituent of your thin filament of muscle fiber as I said and the actin is a polymer of globular shaped subunit called G actin or the actin itself okay each actin molecule has a binding site for your myosin so that the myosin head will come and bind to this okay 
and in association with myosin actin also plays a major role in muscle contraction so actin and myosin are the major contractile proteins coming to the regulatory proteins so tropomyosin is the first and the second one is the troponin so tropomyosin is a constituent of thin filament of our muscle fiber or the muscle and it is made up of two polypeptide chains okay and it is involved in the contraction process by regulating the attachment of actin and myosin so that is how it regulates the uh, contraction okay so here you can see sorry so here we have tropomyosins which is having a two polypeptide chains and here you, you can see the troponins okay which has three units subunits one two three okay so these are the tropomyosin and troponin so these are troponins and this is these thin fibers are your tropomyosins and so let us see coming to the other regulatory protein that is your troponin so troponin is also a constituent of your thin filament of your muscle fiber and it is uh, made up of three polypeptide chains it's a complex of three polypeptide chains that is your tnc stands for troponin c troponin i and troponin t t and i stands for troponin i uh, t and t stands for troponin t which is attached to the tropomyosin so coming to the functions of these troponin molecules the troponin c which is called troponin c which binds with the calcium ions and it has essential step in the initiation of muscle contraction binding of the calcium is a essential step step in the initiation of your muscle contraction whereas troponin i which goes and binds to the actin and it has a inhibitory action so inhibits actin myosin attachment okay and troponin t it binds to your tropomyosin so that is how tc i mean troponin c stands for the calcium c for calcium which goes and binds to the calcium whereas troponin i i stands for it is an inhibitory so that it is troponin i okay and then troponin t t stands for tropomyosin which goes and binds to the tropomyosin so by this i am finishing my uh, muscle protein session thank you for your patience